All right, we're here in Italy at the moment, just solo. Uh, the hotel is fantastic. We're right on the right on the beach, so we've had a very relaxing first couple of days before we have to knuckle down and play Italy for World League. So this is another episode of the Gaima Diaries, and we <laughs> we we've got Joker Nehemiah Morte over here. So he's going to be our next interviewee, and you all should remember my co-host Tom. How you doing, guys? <laughs> Brings a lot to the table. <laughs> All right, so first question, Nehemiah. And this is going to link into my co-host, who was actually the first interviewee. There was a little Hi. bit of beef. We asked about best and worst roommates, and for some reason he said, everyone's the best roommate except for you. You are the worst roommate. And he said you're a terrible person, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, what are your thoughts on that? Have you got anything to say to him? Like I sat, I sat here for a reason, just oh. so sh just so it wouldn't go down. <laughs> well, awkward because we haven't even roomed um, ever, so not sure where he's, he's getting that from. Um, bad person. But is he lying? Probably not. Nah. I've done I've done some bad I've done some bad stuff in my in my time. <laughs> <laughs> what? Elaborate. We're just, nah, we're just next question. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got nowhere with that, and also that that's a lie. Nemo's a very nice boy, upstanding young gentleman. Ah, uh, so next question, Nemo. If you had to compare yourself to one celebrity. Who would it be, and why is it The Rock? What? <laughs> I believe Samoan Thor's thrown around a lot as well. <laughs> why is it The Rock? Or Samoan Thor. Heritage, physique, you name it. Yep. Um, probably because uh, I, my swimming skills are uh, as good as a rock. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, just sing. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Well, you've unknowingly just stitched us up there <laughs> because yeah. that was a bit of a segue. Okay, so Tom. Yeah, there goes half our interview. Yeah. <laughs> well then, well, my joke's gone, isn't it? Well, so the cat's out of the bag. That <laughs> near a fun fact about Nehemiah that a lot of people wouldn't know is he actually never learned how to swim. But I think that's a lie. I saw him do a little hot lap in the pool today. But he claims he can't swim. And Tom was going to reference a swimming race between him and a rock. So Nehemiah has, has beaten us. Okay, but also we can, I can ask my question. Is your nickname Nemo because it's easier to say Nehemiah or because you've got a faulty flipper and can't swim? <laughs> It was, well, originally it was, when no one knew me, Nemo was like the easy way to say Nehemiah. It was easy to remember and it's the first two, the first two letters of my first name with the first two letters of my surname, put them together, Nemo. But then you guys got to know me and know how gun I am at swimming. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to hand over to Tom now for another question. Now, Nemo, you're, uh, you're a very popular man on the team, of course, and... Uh, and the growing fan base is growing to love you more and more, perhaps more so than anyone. So, with this in mind, what would be the greatest gift you have ever received from a loving fan? Loving fan. Loving. <laughs> <laughs> I've had, I've had a few, Tom, a few gifts from a few people, but the, I reckon the coolest one would be in against Belgium last year. Um, I just a, a little kid came up to me with a with a hot dog and said, "Here, here is a hot dog. You did a sick job, bro. Thanks for you know, for playing awesome. Thanks for representing." And then I just halved it with him and ate it after the game. So that was that's probably the coolest. That's pretty cool. Did he did he call you bro and say represent? He didn't say those words. No, he didn't. He didn't say those exact words, but I'm just. Paraphrasing, yeah. Thanks, bro. Okay, so it's important to mention also that 
we've got Nehemiah here who, as we've mentioned, is from Samoa. He's actually managed to take the Volley Roos International because I don't think I've seen so many people at uh, Sydney. How many? How many did you get to come to our game in Sydney last year and are you going to do it again? Last year, I think I was able to get just over a thousand. Over a thousand. Uh, it was like 500 both <laughs> <laughs> two weekends that we were in Sydney. And yeah, thankfully the president gave me that opportunity. He's like, if you can do this, it'd be awesome. And I just, I did it. See, that's, imp that's impressive because uh, I don't think I've got 1,000 Facebook friends, <laughs> let alone people that I actually know. How, how do you know so many people? Well, Samoans get down and dirty. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, look, look. Well, we're, in a, we're a culture where if one of us does good, we're, we're all behind it, you know? If someone's doing something well for the country or for their family, everyone just wants to, you know, lift, lift up and, and support. And uh, it was mostly my church. There's a lot, my church family and friends. And then, yeah, some friends that were able to come. And then just randoms. I told my sister to get anyone who wanted to come. Yeah. So. yeah, fantastic. Well, that's good. You can kind of see that you're proud of your heritage every time a Samoan comes up. Last year at a World League Finals, you, uh, you found a fellow Samoan playing in the final six, didn't you? Is that yeah. correct? Yes, I did. I met, I was lucky enough to meet Garrett Muangututia. Say uh, that last name one more time, please. Muangututia, it's not Nukutia or whatever you guys say. But yeah, yeah, he, he's playing for USA and like he's doing awesome representing his country and it's, it's inspiring, it's motivating and I had, a, I had a word with him and a photo after the game. It was freaking awesome. <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's fantastic. Okay, well, I guess that leads to the next question. If you got a letter to Hogwarts, who can you most relate to and why? <sighs> who can I most relate to? What do you mean? Can you... Is it Neville Longbottom? Because when you swim, you spend a long time on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. I, I love it when a plan comes together. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's, that's game over right there. I can't say anything else. <laughs> Neville Longbottom. <laughs> and why? Because I spent a lot of time at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess that wraps up number three. I'm surprised we've made it this far, fellow co-hosts. Got some uh, wise words for the people? No. <laughs> <laughs> got, got, <laughs> got some mediocre words for the people? Yeah, you say classy, Australia. <laughs> you heard it first from Tom Burgundy. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot, Nemo. Uh, keep on fighting the good fight. Just, just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. <laughs> just keep swimming. <laughs> All right, we're done. <laughs>